Welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Follow me on Instagram at this address. See what I'm up to on a day-to-day. Today we have a craft hack video for you. We will be creating designer craft colored sentiment tags or stickers. Come see. Hi everybody, Creative Katie Karen Burchill here. And today we have a craft hack video. And the reason you're seeing these ATCs, which I've created in a previous video, is because on these I was able to use some of these craft colored stickers that I had purchased a long, long time ago. Now in the midst of that video, I had this stamp, which came from a uh, stamp set that I got at the dollar store, but I had stamped it on white. And it was, you know, in amongst everything else, that white was just too stark. I did not want the white on there. So basically, I ended up creating, using the stamp that I had and supplies that I already had in my stash, I created a craft colored sticker. Now you can use any color. I'm going to stick to craft color today simply because it's neutral and can be used on a multitude of backgrounds. So what you need to do is get a piece of paper. Now this paper is a little bit heavier than um, copy paper, but you could go even heavier than this and do it on mixed media paper if you like. So all I did here is I gave this a couple coats of a color. This is Delta Ceram Coat. This is Trail Tan. Now that worked really good. Now if you don't have this, don't go out and buy it. Check what you have. If you take unbleached titanium or Titan Buff, and add to it any of the browns that you have. I've got burnt umber here and burnt sienna. And on this one, you can see you get a variety of craft colors that realistically, you know, they're fairly close. Some are a little bit more red, some are a little bit more brown, but mixing and matching, you can get a color, a craft color, without having to go out and specifically buy a craft color. So I would paint a couple of these pages. If you're going to make a whole bunch of sentiments ready to go. Now, if you want, you can do this on a full sheet of sticker paper that you can buy at the dollar store. And I'll put a link to those in the, in the description box below, which will then it'll actually be a sticker, but I, I, I'm okay with gluing it on afterwards. So what I grabbed out in my, on the side here, is a variety of sentiment stickers or stamps, um, single words, little phrases, just whatever I have, because I'm going to see what I can use here. Now, if it's white, if you paint it after, you stamp it first and then paint it, this is what you get. Do you see how, it, because it's opaque, it totally, you lose what you've stamped. So you need to paint it first. So you paint this and have it at a ready, whether you do a marathon um, and make a whole bunch at one time, or whether you just have this at the ready near your workshop sides if you need it then you can can do that but i'm going to make some generic um kind of st stamps that are similar to these sentiments that you know will be able to be fit onto a lot of different atcs or icads so this is not difficult this is not you know um, <laughs> you know, in fact, I was like, why didn't I ever think of this before? So 
what we're using is just archival ink here. You can use whatever permanent ink you like and you can get that done. And you can see how that backs up now or how it pops the dark black. Now we can just cut this out, leave a little bit of a border on it. And then just edge what you have here. Okay, so easy peasy. So if you have letter stamps, you can use them to spell out. Uh, sentiment that you want and if you have larger sentiment stamps it will work better for a uh, full-size art journal page. So here I'm just stamping out balance and then I'm mixing and matching my um, letter stamps. Now I'm not getting very elaborate here. Um, you can create whatever you want. It's just a matter of stamping it out. And again you can do this on any color. So that little swirl sense stamp those you often get in some sentiment stamps and you never really use them. So here's a good place. You can use your punches. I just have circle punches, but if you have other shapes, you can use those and then stamp the sentiments, either pre-made stamps like these or go back to your um, letter stamps, your alphabet letter stamps and use those. Here I've just added the little hearts and it just makes it all the better. Now, if I was doing this, I, you know, not for the video, I would do all the stamping, all the cutting, and then all the edging at the same time. So just simply, you know, playing with the stamps that you have and finding a good combination. If you don't want to stamp it right onto the painted paper, try it first on just plain white paper, on copy paper or recycled paper. And that way you won't waste the painted paper. So this was a stamp set, well preserved. I, I think I actually was gifted this. And it has these rings. It was from a jar. And I thought, wouldn't that be nice for borders around these sentiments? And absolutely, I've never used these. And they work extremely well. So again, I'm just stamping these with you know, pre-made stamps that I've gotten at the dollar stores and the dollar fifty bin at, at Michael's. But you can also use your letter stamps and stamp in between inside of that. Anytime I can figure out another way of using something that I already have or something that I haven't really used, I'm just thrilled about that. So go get out your stamps and take a closer look. So since I like the idea of having a border, I thought, you know, I've got a couple border stamps that I absolutely had to have, and I've never really used them. This one's from Dilutions, and I actually cut some of these apart. They were together, and I cut them separate because I didn't like using them always as doubles. So here I just cut it, stamped it with the sentiment, and then I am using this border stamp to make a border around this box. This is kind of a checker box one. I love this. This is great. So they have different patterns and you know that's the other thing with the stamps. I went and I took a pair of scissors and I cut them apart. You know they're your stamps. You should use them you know the way that you want. This set was kind of stitching and, and kind of a border stamp. I believe it was from Bow Bunny. And again, I absolutely had to have it, hardly have used it. So here they have, you know, different, different ones. There's like stitching and zigzag and kind of a dot dot pattern. And I can see myself using this. Now, if I was needing a specific color, that might be something that I would do, you know, when I'm working on the ATC or art journal page, because I'm going to want the color to match, um, my page 
but these ones are generic and I'm just going to have these ready in the stash. That Live, Love, Laugh came from Recollections and I absolutely love it. I've used it so many times. Well, this is a very fine little kind of a dot, dot, dot and I just doubled it up. So really, you're only limited by your imagination. Get out those. First thing I did is I just started stamping with some of these things and looking at them and seeing them through different eyes. So here are some of the ones that I created. And, you know, I absolutely love them. They're equally as good as those ones that I purchased. And, you know, you know what the dollar store is like. It's here today and it's not there. Here's other ones that I did, more traditional square ones. So get out your stamps, repurpose them, look at them in a different way, and create some sentiment embellishments that you can use on all your mixed media projects. Thanks for listening. Now I took all these and after I cut them out and edged them, I'm just putting them in a little cellophane pack and they're going in my sentiment pile. <laughs> 